Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to introduce you to Gong from Audio Thing. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Additionally, if you would like to participate in the giveaway and have an opportunity to own a copy of this fantastic audio effect, please do follow the instruction on including in the site in the video description okay thank you so we are inside the aum as a host i have just created an audio channel and why now let's search for gong and as you can see there it is effect plugin audio unit we are inside an ios device but it is also available for mac and windows and this is what it looks like so it is an amp simulator it uh, aims to reproduce the sound that uh, Maurice Martinot created when he positioned a gong behind his amp circuitry when he was working on his own synth. Now, what matters in terms of these audio effect is the sound more than controls. The controls are quite simple, really. So, it's traditional law. Uh, user interface uh, from audio thing here you can select your preset factor in user you can save you can delete and randomize presets you can lock parameters so that you move so you can move freely between presets and then here you have uh, the usual menu from uh, audio thing up here you can change the tail block size which uh, can be really useful um can enable case sound, you can lock and lock parameters, you can copy and paste, you can go to the online menu and about. And of course, you can turn it on and off or bypass it. Okay. Here you have the ability to change the dynamic from low to high. I will show you that in a moment. You have pitch changes, howl effect, you can introduce modulation, then you can almost create variation trips, what is called here for these effects here on the mixer for the mono stereo microphone and resonation here, which use convolution um, uh, techniques. And it's like um, um, a reverb into a reverb here. You have a drive and then, of course, you have a drive and wet effect with also soft limit here. Okay, so let's um, try first of all, with a simple grand piano and um, let's connect it to a keyboard so this is what it sounds like just a normal piano and now let's introduce gong so let's stick to this uh, init as you say that here you can add also some chain you can hear the uh, noise from the chains you can add more. You can have them combined. You can put a cushion as well, which acts a little bit like a damper as well. So here you can change the dynamic. Here you can change the pitch. can hear that it's gone much higher and of course you can go low okay let's turn this off then you can introduce a uh, modulation of course. howl effect let's go to the pitch Here is you, where you can enable trip as well. You can see now you have a movement on the mono stereo microphones and resonate dials here. And um, you can change the speed here. And you can shift the rhythm as well, which is nice. And therefore, you can create some nice effect. You can, of course, do host to sync in terms of speed. So you can see the different rates, a subdivision there. Of course, the symbol here to remind ourselves this has been done in collaboration with Heimbach. Very important. And then this is where you can enable, disable different microphone, mono, stereo. The resonation.
you can adjust dry and wet with, with of course a soft limit here and then you can introduce drive Now let's see what it sounds like with some presets. This is quite nice as a chain reverb. This is one of my favorite distant seas. Oh, great. Okay, now let's close this and let's change uh, the audio source. Let's go for something completely different. Let's go for a hammerhead here. So we have some drums. Let's open it up. Let's load a preset from a factory. And uh, let's adjust uh, the volume a bit. The sequencer is on. Let's remove, um, actually, let's bypass like so um, the effect. Okay, now let's introduce the effect and let's start with something very simple, like so. It's quite nice, very different type of sound that you can create. Let's continue. This is quite good, exceptionally good in terms of the timber it creates, but it's like having a drum machine, of course, near a gong. Be careful when you have a long tail um, on the type of effect that you are going to create, of course. But it sounds amazing with uh, with drums. Okay, let's choose uh, something different again. Let's go for pipa to have something sim to uh, like vocals, and let's go to this preset here. Let's open up Gong again. Let's disable this. Is pipa. Okay, now let's enable the effect. It's quite interesting, it really sounds like a person near a gong. And you can hear that type of vibrato effect. In, indeed, the speed is quite high here on trip. Nice to have this uh, metallic type of sound. Okay, very interesting. Now let's change again the audio source. Let's go for something like BA1 from 
uh, baby audios. So um, then let's open it up now and then let's um, uh, select the preset. I want to try with uh, something like a bass and see what happens. Yeah, sounds good. So let's try again with the first preset. That's what I expected. It's like having a bass near a gong. Interesting. Okay, so let's again change the audio source and let's go for uh, something like um, Steel Guitar Pro and we connect it to the keyboard again like so and uh, let's try. Okay, a um, bit of uh, uh, guitar is good. Now, let's again change the source. Let's go for a file player and let's choose a, a, um, a loop and put it in the loop uh, mode and let's open this up. Okay, perfect. Now, let's see what happens when we introduce Gong. Oriental uh, Christmas uh, type of um, uh, loop. Interesting. Anyway, this is uh, Gong um, Amp from AudioThink. I hope you enjoyed uh, the tutorial and demonstration. And as always, see you next time. Bye.